Hello everybody, I am uh, Orion Vlogs, I almost said Corrupted Soul, it's been, it's been forever since I've had to say it. Anyways, today we're playing a demo of some anime game I forgot the name of. I don't know, hold on, let me go on the menu. I don't fucking know, anyway, Carl, ha! Well, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna do voices, it's one of those like visual novels kind of thing. Ha! What can your pathetic vessel do against the full might of the Holy Empire? Now meet your fate! Four, four more cruisers dropped from warp, joining the already sizable enemy fleet. Laser beams tore through the hull as the cruisers opened fire. Shields may have been appeared confident earlier, but he knew he was running out of options. The commander nearly lost her balance. Oh, excuse me. The commander nearly lost her balance. My bad. In the carnage. She gripped the handrail while shouting that the core was about to go critical. It's about to go critical! <laughs> he was tired of always hearing. Wait. Okay, he was tired of always hearing that. Could, couldn't could she ever say something else? What could he do? Fire the vanguard again? But he didn't have enough command points for that. Is this suffer referential? Alright. The Sephirim's awaking and war on off and would be missile massacred the following turn. I think this is a vi like it knows it's a game. Both quantum torpedoes been shot down by Flak and the Paladin was already out. I feel like I'm listening to someone play FDL. <laughs> oh. Farewell, Captain. What did I do? How did I lose? I just started the game. I threw up my hands in exasperation. What a stupid game. I thought I lost the game. I am a moron. What a stupid game. Duh! Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. Mo, are you playing that game again? The fuck up, Murray. Kaito. Kaito is my name. Okay. These levels gotta be bad. There's no way they could have intended to have four cruisers show up on the eighth turn. Maybe I should go to the developer's website and make a post about it, cause they always listen to that. No! Okay. God. You spent all winter vacation doing nothing but playing games. Yeah, having fun. But, but, at this rate, you might end up like one of those unemployed people. Duncan4264 is playing some Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Really should have turned off my notifications. Anyway, one of those unemployed people. This new term's going to start tomorrow, and you haven't even gotten your uniform out yet. Oh, right, in Japan, they have to wear uniforms. <laughs> Weird. My apologies to my possibly Japanese or just Asian in general uh, schoolers out there. Schoolers? School attendees that have to wear uniforms. Or anywhere that have to wear uniforms, I'm sorry. What am I going to do with you, Kaito? I crossed my arms, but she just didn't seem to get it. I wasn't about to get henpecked by my own sister. What the fuck is henpecked? You! Yes, you! The one listening. Uh, go Google it and leave the definition in the comment box below. I wanna know. Work hard, play hard, that's what I always say. <laughs> Hashtag 420. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that so? Then you are finally gonna get a girlfriend this year. I thought you were my girlfriend. I am... Oh my god, I'm a monster. <laughs> Goyle friend? You turned Jewish, oh. You always play those dating games on the holo, don't you? I I read that in my at least in my head as holo. Like she's a and she got like a deeper voice when it happened. Uh, uh yeah, but that's when my dick's out, it's different. Of course. Something like getting a girlfriend is easy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oo oo for you for you! Oofu oofu! Really now? 
Then good luck, Kaito. And remember, if you flake out like you did last year, your little sister's gonna be highly disappointed of you. Uh, in you, sorry. I know grammar. That was my only... That was only my second year. Everyone knows that real relationships don't start until third year. Or you could focus on school. Ah, who am I kidding? Really? Really. Whatever. Just try your best, okay, Squiggle? Why'd you say Squiggles? And remember, disappointed sister Squiggles. Shut up, my cat's in heat. Don't question it, but if you're in the back, that's her. Mariah left the room, grinning ear to ear. As soon as she left, I began to regret my words. Girlfriend. Huh. I opened my closet and got my uniform out. So you did have the uniform! God damn it, damn it, XD. Okay. But you had your uniform and you just didn't say anything? You just made yourself look like a fucking dumbass? And what is this lamp over here? Okay. Focusing. Tomorrow I would like to be a... I would like to return to being a student at Sunrider Academy, located at the heart of Sarah City. Is he just, like, speaking a lot? I don't think he's actually speaking a lot, but I like to think that this character just narrates, like, information he already knows. In the heart of Sarah City, I'm hoping, I hope I pronounce some things right. Sunrider Academy is an experimental education facility which gathers the brightest young minds from across the planet. So, no one from America. Just being accepted, I'm American, shut up. Just being accepted was considered a good debatable. I took that joke too far, I'm sorry. Just being accepted was considered a great achievement. Achievement get. Honestly, I was surprised I got accepted. I was surprised you got accepted too because I have no current information. What is this poster in the background? Ice, or is it a G? Ice, Ice G Plage. Or plague, I don't know. Even if I was mostly average, I guess I have one thing. A huge, huge penis. Oh, select character class. Fitness, intelligence, charisma, stress, money! Oh, I can't just... Alright. Wealthy. Well-rounded. Good karma, charismatic. Intellectual. Athletic. I'm shallow as fuck, so let's go with money. I got my uniform and put my school supplies in my bag. That should do it. This story takes place on Sarah, an advanced world in the galaxy's neutral rim. You, th you know, you think that would come up first, before saying Sarah City or something. Sarah is a different orbit and revolution speed compared to our Earth, and thus has a unique calendar system. A day on Sarah lasts only 10 hours. Huh. How would you ever get anything, to, like, what time would you wake up to go to school, like, especially in high school, you'd have to wake up at, like, 12, no, you'd wake up at 1, then go to school for, like, an hour or two, then go home at around, like, 7. Huh. Anyway. To go into detail, every hour contains 100 minutes, and each minute contains 100 seconds. However, you need not remember this to play Sunrider Academy. Then why the fuck did you tell me? Kaito can perform one activity each hour further. He must sleep four hours a day. Okay, then now this brings up... Okay, so there are 10 hours in one day in this world. So 10 hours, minus four for sleep, that leaves you six hours. So that means school must take place within a time span of three to two hours. I don't know. During the duration of a week, month, and a year differ as well. Oh, fuck off with your stupid, weird-ass calendar. Oh my god, they actually gave me a stupid, weird-ass calendar. I didn't think they would actually do it. Each week on Sarah contains ten days. The fifth, ninth, and tenth days are break days, and all of those are work days. Why? Why didn't you just use- And they spelled calendar wrong. Why wouldn't you just use a normal calendar? Okay, a normal system. A month contains five weeks. There are ten months in a year. I don't care! I don't care! Let me talk to pictures. This may seem confusing at first. However, simply remember that there are ten hours in day. Yeah, no. I don't get it. If you remember that, then you should be good to go. Then I guess I'm fucked, because I didn't understand any of it. Your hollow contains essential information, including the calendar. What the fuck is a hollow? A hologram? 
And if so, why can't I make it like a giant golden cock in balls that can speak and does tap dancing without feet? Don't question it, just just roll with me. You can open your calendar to see special occasions and holidays, like our bottle today. Yeah, if they can make up stupid shit, so can I. Managing your time effectively is the key to success. You hear that game? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Sick of your shit, game. You gamey game. Shut up, cat. You gamey game bastard. You have exactly until the graduation ceremony on the 10th. Yeah, excuse me, 10th month to make the most out of your year. Don't tell me how to live my life. Have fun and do your best to impress your sister. So my sister would be impressed with me if I just got laid. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. The end of the year was still far away. Plenty of time to figure things out, I suppose. I took a shower and got into bed. Despite my vacation ending, I felt optimistic about the coming year. Who knew what adventures awaited this year? Probably not much, because this is the demo. My school life was about to begin. And the episode was about to end. No, that would be stupid. I'm sorry. I woke up the next day to sunshine, and my blinds already open. So this is the first month of the first week of the first day of the first hour. I've woken up at 1 o'clock in the morning, and it is fucking sunshine outside. Shut up, kitty. I love you, but shut up. You'll shut your face. Alright? Okay, yeah. The first day of school. <laughs> well, might as well try my best. I mean, I only go to school for like an hour or two. Shut up, kitty! Kitty, I love you to death, Twilight. But you need to stop talking. After breakfast, I left the apartment and found... God fucking damn it, Twilight. I'm recording. Stop. Baby, baby. Twilight. Twilight! I love you. I... I... Oh, God. Talk to you guys. I, I guess I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, I don't know who this bitch is, but we'll find out next episode. Till then, I'll see you guys some other time. Bye! Say bye, Twilight. Yeah. Yeah.